हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ पैथोलॉजी मीडियम रॉबिन से हम कर रहे हैं स्किन के डिसऑर्डर्स आज स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं क्रॉनिक इन्फ्लेमेटरी डायमेटोसिस सो एक्यूर कंडीशन ऑफ स्किन हमने कर ली है इन्फ्लेमेशन प्रीवियस मेरी आप वीडियोज़ देख लीजिए एंड टूडे लेट एज स्टार्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्रॉनिक इन्फ्लेमेटरी डायमेटोसिस विच आर परजिस्टेंट स्किन कंडीशन दैर एग्जिबिट देयर मोस्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ओवर मंथस टू ईयर्स ना ऑब्वियसली एज द नेम इंडिकेट दिस इज अ क्रॉनिक कंडीशन सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी प्रेजेंट ओवर मंथस टू ईयर्स राइट दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉल्ड क्रॉनिक ऑल दो दे मे बिगिन विद एन एक्यूर स्टेज विच देन कंटिन्यूज ऑन टू बिकम क्रॉनिक प्रॉब्लम द स्किन सर्फिस इन सम क्रॉनिक इनफ्लेमेटरी डेमिटोसिस इज रफ एंड as a result of excessive or abnormal scale formation as well as shedding which is what we call desquamation zaire ye chronic issue hai to there is obviously epidermal uh, disbalance of uh, cellular proliferation and as a result of there is excessive keratin deposition as well as desquamation yani sloughing off and shedding of keratin so that's a chronic issue scale formation and shedding of uh, uh, the uh, upper super superior superficial layer so क्रॉनिक इशूज में अभी हम जब डिजीजेज देखेंगे पर्टिकुलरली फॉर एग्जाम्पल विल बिगिन विद सोरियास टूडे सो विल सी हाउ द स्केलिंग एंड प्रोलिफ्रेशन ऑफ द स्किन दैट बिकम्स अ कंडीशन इन क्रॉनिक इशूज राइट इन एक्यूट इशूज इट्स मोर रादर अ रैश एंड समटाइम्स इट्स ब्लिस्टर्स इन वेजिकल्स एंड समटाइम्स इट्स एरिथमेटोसिस रेडनिंग जैसे इस डायग्राम में हम देख रहे हैं दिस इज एरिथमा मल्टाफॉर्मे मल्टीपल रैशेज रेडिश इन कलर सो दैट्स मोर सॉर्ट ऑफ एक्यूट इशू but in chronic problems we see scales you know you see these are chronic issues you see here this is a picture from psoriasis where you literally see well demarcated areas of uh, um, scaling that's how it looks obviously it looks bad because it's chronic now the first chronic uh, disease that we have to discuss is the psoriasis which is a very very common chronic inflammatory dermatosis seen a lot in the clinics it affects 1 to 2% of individual residing in the us Uh, for countries like ours india pakistan uh, we actually do not have exact statistics because uh, national data banks are by and large missing recent epidemiologic studies have shown that psoriasis is associated with increased risk of heart attack and stroke and relationship may be related to chronic inflammatory state so uh, that makes it even more relevant so psoriasis itself is a common skin condition but then it is also associated with uh, heart attacks and stroke and you know these are number one killers even in the us uh, and any association with heart attack and stroke becomes very important discussion right now how does psoriasis develop it's basically an immune mediated it's an inflammatory issue which is mediated largely by t cells and uh, it is assumed to be because of autoimmune issues yani there is an antigen which the t cells should actually not be identifying but they start identifying this and then they start reacting against the antigen okay और कौन सी एंटीजन है वो भी एग्जैक्टली पता नहीं है यू नो हाउ इम्यून सिस्टम वर्क्स राइट सो इफ देर इज अ सेल इट इज एक्सप्रेसिंग एन एंटीजन द थ्री सेल्स विल आई रिकॉग्नाइज और नॉट रिकॉग्नाइज इट इफ इट्स अ सेल्फ एंटीजन दे विल यूजुअली नॉट रिकॉग्नाइज इट बट इफ दे स्टार्ट रिकॉग्नाइजिंग द सेल्फ एंटीजन दिस इज वॉट रिकॉल ऑटो इम्यून इशू नो वट इज द एंटीजन विच इज इन साइटिंग द थ्री सेल्स इन केस ऑफ सोरिया सेज वी एक्चुअली डोंट नो राइट Now uh, researchers have identified that psoriasis has a genetic link as well as environmental factors which contribute to the development of psoriasis it is however unclear whether the inciting antigens are self antigens or they come from the environment or that is the combination of two so the antigen which initiates the t cell immune mediated reaction is not very clear sensitized population of t cells home to the dermis so sensitized matlab they identify some sort of antigen and then they come and stay in the dermis and these t cells include helper t cells uh, cd4 particularly type 17 type 1 uh, there are type 1 helper cells type 2 helper cells type 17 helper cells they have different list of cytokines that they release and then also these cytotoxic t cells cd8 positive cells are also there they uh, penetrate and start infiltrating the epidermal area so dermis and epidermis both are infiltrated by activated t cells these cells secrete cytokines obviously and growth factors and this cytokine and growth factor burst induce the keratinocyte for hyperproliferation so keratinocytes go like 
boom there is like big signal okay and this is what is the characteristic lesion of psoriasis hyper proliferative epidermal layer psoriatic lesions can be induced in susceptible individuals by local trauma and this is known as Kobner phenomena so if somebody has an HLA predisposition for example genetic predisposition for developing psoriasis or they have sensitized T cell a little trauma can lead to hyper proliferation so that's the thing that they're talking about here and this thing is known as Kobner phenomena genome wide association studies which are genetic studies have linked an increased risk of psoriasis to polymorphisms in HLA loci so that's why we think it has a genetic predisposition okay and uh, obviously this genetic polymorphism affect those genes which include antigen presentation inflammatory mediators expression such as TNF uh, several loci also are associated with the development of psoriatic arthritis which is a very common complication of psoriasis and uh, if one develops arthritis that is considered as a severe form of psoriasis okay uh, clinically most uh, frequently it affects the skin of the elbows as shown is this diagram these are back of the elbows dorsal side of the elbows uh, it also involves knee scalp lumbosacral areas intergluteal cleft glands penis and vulva so genital nail changes on the fingers and the toes also occur in about 30 percent which is a big number of the patients in most cases psoriasis is limited in distribution but it can be widespread and severe so it can affect like multiple areas of the skin the clinical subtypes are defined by pattern of involvement and severity yani kitna part body ka involved hai aur kitna severe hai joints involved hai nahi cardiovascular system involved hai nahi and treatment obviously what was the cause the cause was initial inflammation so if you try and block inflammation you try to hit psoriasis mild disease is treated topically with the ointments which obviously have steroids to suppress inflammation but then we can also use immunomodulatory agents which are uh, TNF inhibitor for example or uh, some monoclonal antibodies as well also phototherapy which um, is particularly reserved for higher uh, severity uh, cases right um, a typical lesion which is uh, for psoriasis particularly it is a well demarcated lesion scaling lesion and this is what is written here it is well demarcated pink to salmon colored plaque covered by loosely adherent silver white scale so you see this pinkish salmon color areas with white patches that's a classic rash your classic scaling pattern for psoriasis okay uh, that's the thing that you have to remember now one more thing which is very important that the vessels bleed readily when the scale is removed so agar ye patient yahan zara si bhi khujli karega na kharish karega they are bleeding uska reason ye hota hai because this is well explained here if you look at this diagram what happens ke uh, psoriasis mein there is hyperproliferation of epidermal cells and uh, the dermal papilla which is this area it becomes deep and you see in normal area yahan tak hota shayad dermal papilla but now it has invaded to this area now as a result of this what actually happens is ke dermis contains blood vessels right there are blood vessels in there ab ye blood vessel agar yahan tak hai because this is the dermal epidermal junction na this is epidermis and this is dermis so blood vessels are only in the dermal area ab agar ye dermal area papilla wala deep ho jayega to blood vessel yahan tak aa jayegi ab dekhiye this is a very thin layer of epidermis here uh, as opposed to this this is a thick layer of epidermis ab banda agar yahan pe khu jayega to blood vessel itna niche padi hui hai lekin agar yahan khu jayega to ye upar ke cells niklenge bilkul niche blood vessel hai the patient will start bleeding so uh, psoriasis ke patient mein ye common issue hai ke zara si kharish karo ye zara sa touch hoga and they will bleed because the blood vessels are very near to the epidermis again look at this area you see that is the length of epidermis so blood vessels are right there aap zara sa is area ko hatayenge yani ko kharish karenge thodi si itching hogi to ye blood vessels ko aap actually hit karenge and they will be oozing out of blood and this has a uh, typical name which is known as ospert sign so this is also asked very much in the exam what is ospert sign and why do you see ospert sign in patient with psoriasis so with this we end the discussion about the pathology of psoriasis next disease karenge agli video mein take care of yourself